Welcome to a week two non-conference showdown as the Wyoming Cowboys travel to Camp Randall to take on the Wisconsin Badgers of the Big Ten. The Cowboys are 0-1 after last week's 28-14 loss to the Duke Blue Devils. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings going into today's games. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The current top 25 national rankings. The Cowboys' individual stats going into today's game. A current look at the Cowboys recruiting board.
And now, a Week 2 non-conference matchup as the 0-1 Wyoming Cowboys of the Mountain West travel to Camp Randall to take on the 1-0 Wisconsin Badgers of the Big Ten. Welcome to Camp Randall Stadium, where these fans have been getting prepared to cheer on a whole pack of Badgers since early in the morning. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. You know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Wisconsin Badgers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Cowboys will kick it away first. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Badgers' offense will get the first crack at it here. And here he comes, guys, the man who makes everything go. Everything in this offense is built around his ability. He's got such great field vision. He's got it all, Palmer. He is must-watch. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Let's see if they play it conservatively and try to get some of the yardage back on second and long from the 13. Now they'll run it to the right here. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And guys, this third and long is not exactly how they drew it up. Hopefully it's not an indication of what we'll see the rest of the game. Got a man, it's Williams. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Badgers will try to pin them back with the punt. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. No return coming, he'll call for the fair catch. So Wyoming's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact to make an impact from your leaders. Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe, second and seven. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. He's got his man. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give him a first down. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Going to the ground. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Pockets to nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long way to go after that loss. 
Good presence of mind by the quarterback there to not panic when the ball went on the ground and able to get it back. I would just like to see better ball security, Reese, from the quarterback, too. You know, you got to keep two hands on the ball at all times. It doesn't matter. You're looking downfield. You know you're going to have guys around you trying to swat away at the football. Got to keep two points of pressure at minimum on that ball, and the quarterback lucky to fall on that. Pressure coming. He's got it. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. And he missed it. No good. Kicker couldn't quite get it through, and the scoreboard remains the same. Back on the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Anthony. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. From the gun. Wants to pass. He's got it. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Badgers come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking for a gap. It's Acker. Shakes off the tackler. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Hand off from the shotgun. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds his big tight end. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Badgers are on the move. To the air on first down. Almost had the completion, just missed it. Ball still at the 45 after the incompletion. They'll snap it second and 10. To the ground with the back. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold, 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 hold. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. That last play, the kind of thing that can mess up a really good drive. It's second and 17. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Now facing a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He'll try to do it himself. On the move at the 30. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing him. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers, they can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Here's the handoff. Pick up of one, it's down at the 11. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Wisconsin! 
You know what? Methuselah lived 969 years. He was born and died in the amount of time it took them to walk it down the field and score that touchdown. <laughs> and that's just so frustrating. Play after play after play, you line up, you try to do your assignment, and you fail, and they cap it off with a touchdown? Oh, Methuselah. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Oregon has some work to do, but go against this team at your own risk. The always a threat to come back. It's less than a touchdown lead. They're trailing by six to Oklahoma State. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Using his legs, it's Scott. Not a lot of room there. Give him a couple to the 16. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To the air, it's Svoboda. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. That's a throw the QB would like to have back. He just has to do a better job giving his receiver a chance to make a catch. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught over the middle, it's Scott. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. Third down, the, the focus of the defense has to shift. It has to change. We have to understand now exactly where the sticks are. We can't give up those plays for them to get beyond the sticks and get those first downs. Fires to the right. Makes a connection. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. And I love working the slot receivers, and you see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. They go to the ground. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. As we come to the end of the period, Wisconsin has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. Start the quarter off. It's about to snap it on second down. They'll run it from the gun. The Cowboys have enough for the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Right back to the well. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out.
They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Out of the backfield, he's open. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Fullback's got it. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Well, the offense is going to go for it on fourth down. This is well within field goal range. But that earlier miss could have influenced this decision. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. This has become almost automatic. Fourth and one, go for it. They did, and they got it. No doubt about it. No discussion. I don't need to consult my offensive coordinator. I don't need to consult my defensive coordinator. We're going for that, and we're going to get it, and we're going to go for it. And if we don't get it, we're going to go for it the next time. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. And perfect timing. Got there right when the ball got there. Didn't get there a little bit early. Saving the touchdown. Nice timing by that defender. And back to the air on second down. Makes the grab. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Defense going all in to stop the run. Go straight ahead. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. And this is the area of the field where you need a really good back. You can depend on, you can give him the football. He's going to hit a little crease and, and, and just lower his shoulder, be physical, be powerful. You saw last week he got a rushing touchdown. I look for this offense to continue to feed him and maybe get him another one today. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. Slams it ahead. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you've got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Polly. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, wore these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. No hesitation from this head coach. He will go for it on fourth and goal from the one. Power ahead. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. A big question mark for this offense coming into the year, guys. Who could score touchdowns? Who are going to be their biggest playmakers on offense? This guy scored in the first game. He's off to a great start in this one with that touchdown. This guy looks like the real deal. He'll try to tack on one more. Right down the middle. So they played keep away and held it for 16 plays on the scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Bringing it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. 
Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. They'll go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Hand off to the single back. Turns it on to midfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Badgers are marching down the field. From the gun, running back gets to give. Really good-looking run right there. He reminds me of one of the greatest Wisconsin players of all time, Heisman Trophy winner Ron Dane, who was a teammate of mine with the New York Giants, and he was so good at being patient and setting up blocks. This guy shows that patience as well. He really helps out the running game because he's not in a rush. He just takes his time and carves his way through the defense. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Got his man all by himself. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. On the run, it's White. Finds a crease at the 20. Running free, going to the end zone, but way back behind him, there's a flag on the field. The defense gets bailed out after giving up that big play, coming back because of the penalty. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The give to the back. Still on his feet. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. Used to play fake, now to throw. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Wants to throw on second down. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Badger! And this offense is still early in the down, second and goal. They could still run it. They go with the pass. Nice job by the quarterback seeing it immediately, getting the football out of his hands, seeing his wide receiver open, getting the big touchdown. PAT unit on the field. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. They took it 68 yards on that drive. And it was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out. You need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. Makes his connection. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw for it. Fires to the tight end. Gets away from one, he's got space. Open runway ahead. At the 20. Touchdown, Wyoming. And once he got loose, it was all over. 
And the defense lets the big tight end get behind him, and you could see it. When he saw his tight end streaking down the field, he knew he had to throw it up in the air, let him go make a play. He does it. Big play for this offense. Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Troy overcame a tough opponent, and not only that, a raucous crowd. The Trojans tuned out all the noise and showed this team can win on its field, your field, or a neutral field. Well done. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Motion from the offense. Leaves it with the back. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw right down the middle. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. And here's a fumble way behind the line. How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? Touchdown, Wyoming! The defense with the scoop and score. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up. Take it all the way back to the house for six. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. The short hands, it's Williams. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. He's looking for a man on second down. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. They'll go to the air on third and short catch in the middle it's Williams a timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half he wants to throw scrambling away just finds that little crevice and he's still up and he has a solid gain on the play before sliding clock's running and they'll try to get to the line warp speed for second down he's looking to throw fires to the wide out and he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Wants to throw on third down. They've got the screen set up. At the 40, there he goes. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Looking to move it through the air. And the pass is intercepted. Not only a great play, but tremendous discipline by this sophomore to make the pick. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, 
Gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field goal. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. They'll throw it on first down. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. And that's why these guys played defense. If that were an offensive player or receiver, that would have easily have been a catch. Come on, man. You've got to catch that and make that a pick. They'll spread the defense out going five wide on second and ten. To the air. It's Svoboda. He unleashes a long one. But that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. But how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Gets away. Unloads to the wideout. Pulls it in. And a nice grab there. Big pickup down to the 35-yard line. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. And the Cowboys will have it first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Yeah, and that's back-to-back -back games. This guy's notched the sack. Starting to be a problem. A guy that's diagnosing passes, rushing the passer really, really well. This defense could use this guy's production consistently. On second down, looking again to throw. Inside the 15-yard line. Touchdown, Cowboys. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. And after starting the season 0-1, this offense felt like they just left plays on the field in that first game. But so far today, they're taking advantage. QB's making good decisions. Guys are stepping up. They've limited the mental mistakes. They haven't turned the football over. It's a different-looking offense here in game two. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. On the ground, it's Acker. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, Yeoman's work so far in Madison, and welcome in to the halftime update. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you've got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's head back to a great scene there in Camp Randall. Kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. Fielded in the end zone. It's Parks. He stopped short of the 20.
wishes he had just taken the touchback. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They go to work in the third quarter with the lead, but they have had a little trouble keeping their quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead, you're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive, but give him some more time here in the second half. I think you can do that, too, offensively, by maybe leaving your tight end in to help block, maybe chipping with running backs to help these tackles out on the edge, because you're right, that pocket has been shaky, and if it continues to be that way in the second half, this could be a much different looking football game. Looking to throw at Svoboda. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Man, you know, you always look back in games at single plays that turn the tide. And with this defense now trailing by two possessions, if they could have just caught the ball and gotten that pick, that potentially changes everything in this game. That was a missed opportunity. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man on the right. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, when you're running the core route against zone coverage as a QB, you know you've got to get the receiver the ball quickly. This quarterback has a cannon for an arm. He showed you on that last throw, and the offense picks up the first down. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Looking to pass on second down. And he makes the grab, but he's out of bounds. Incomplete pass. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job. Everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Went to the running game on first down. Now second down. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. <laughs> And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. All right, this offense needs to come up with a solution for this defensive end because he is a problem. They have got to find a way to help out the offensive tackle to prevent this guy from getting to the quarterback. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. Give to the running back. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. They'll keep it on the ground. Tackled after picking up the first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. The give to the tailback. Can't get him to the ground. Relying on that running game as they threaten to pick up a four down to the 13.
Operating in the red zone here on second down. Softened him up with a run and now to throw. That's caught. It's Stevenson. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here. But it was still a positive game. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. And it's caught! Touchdown, Wyoming! Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We got to figure something out. We got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire. You might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody. Live with the results. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they split the uprights on the extra point. They're up 35-14. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. TCU is ahead right now, but it's not like they have LaDainey and Tomlinson out there. This group needs to keep building on this lead. They're up by eight over UNLV. For now, it's back to you, fellas. But, of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Now the play fake. Gets away from one. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And you're seeing the pass rush on the second play of the drive. They dial it up. Look at the speed and athleticism this defense has as they corral the quarterback for a loss. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Got his man to the left. And he's running in the open. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 35-21. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Merritt. I know he thinks he can house everything. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense just keeps moving. Running to green, just causing wreckage in the secondary. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. How nice is it in an offense when you can generate explosive plays by running the football? You got to force feed this guy, man. He is an absolute game changer. A big explosive play carries them into plus territory. They'll snap it first and 10 from just across the 50. They're going to ride this running back. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. after picking up a couple at second and eight.
Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. Fires to the wideout. It's complete. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage and they've got it on the 22. The Cowboys have it with a first and 10. Power football with the run. Able to move it ahead a couple of yards. He gets it down to the 20. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. It's so hard to force fumbles. And when you do, you so badly want to get them. You're crawling. You're doing whatever you can to get there as a defender. But the offense fortunate enough to cover it back up. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires left. A strike downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. It's first down from the 11. On the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go with the QB design run, but nice job defensively. They were not fooled by it. They were physical up front. The guys defeating blocks, able to get that tackle for loss. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Back to throw. It's Svoboda using the quick game. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. And it's incomplete, but the penalty flag has fallen in the holding zone. Let's see what the call is. They'll decline that penalty, obviously very happy with results of the play. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And this one shouldn't be too taxing, a 23-yard try. Absolutely perfect. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. And now to try to put things in motion on second and long from the 15. He's looking to throw. Lofts one high and deep. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Got it set up on the outside. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. He only needs a sliver of daylight. 
Excellent coverage and tackle that time, and that's how the third quarter comes to a close. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. Gets open down the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but a good pickup on that play. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. From the gun on third down. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. And the Cowboys line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. And they block it. He's got great speed. Know which side you're going to attack and who you want to attack. And you could tell they wanted to attack the right side. Brought all the guys from that direction. Sneak through a little crack. Come in. Get their hands on the... Throws toward the end zone. And they won't make the connection going for the big play. After the incompletion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Going back to the well, another deep ball. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for the touchdown badger and they add six more to the board with that trip to the house wow this offense they have a lot of faith in this running back knowing if they get down in this area of the field he can get it done and he can answer the bell two rushing touchdowns already for this offense Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Kansas State looks like a bunch of world beaters right now. I'm not sure I... They're up by 32 over Army. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. On the move, it's Scott. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Better find the earplug. 
fact, here comes the noise backing this defense on third down. To the air, it's Svoboda. Finds a tight end. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Illegal block. Illegal block. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Let's see what they do on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. The Cowboys will punt this one away. He hopes this one turns out a little better, had the other one blocked. Bringing it back, it's Williams. That nifty return. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver shows motion. Trying to get outside on the jet sweep. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Tough way to start this drive. Now they'll try to fix it on second and 15. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Fires toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. The Badgers will line up to punt it away. Looking for a block, it's Merritt. Couldn't get away from that. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Looking to throw. It's Svoboda. He's got it. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Gonna run it. It's Scott. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll leave it with him. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. And the Cowboys will move the sticks. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. They'll give it to him again. 
And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Got his man quickly. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Cowboys getting set on first and ten. Out of the gun, the inside kick. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Well, you love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting down close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up there. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matters with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting them. The gift to the back. Tackle is made at the 30-yard line after he picked up four. hoping to knock them out of field goal range. Quarterback keeps it. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. They're a perfect two for two on fourth down. They'll go for the hat trick. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. The offense couldn't get the snap off in time, and it'll cost them. They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. The quarterback just lost track of the play clock, didn't get the snap off quickly enough. And the Cowboys will punt it away on fourth down. Now don't forget, and I'm sure he hasn't, he had one blocked earlier. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. How about this? Mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five, and they'll try to get this drive started. Quickly complete. And that completion good for a short game, but they still have some work to do to pick up the first down. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. This time it's complete. 
And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. You saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. They want to just keep throwing it. Slings it downfield. Got his man. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. And that ball is picked off. Bringing it back. And they cap it on field position. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. And now when you have a solid lead like this, Jesse, you find out, can you deliver the knockout punch? And we're expecting them to come out here and just run the football, bleed the clock, let the big uglies up front, get some push, and ball security, David. That's a premium. Yes, take care of the football. Don't make any dumb mistakes. Be physical. And listen, if they want to load the box, don't be afraid to take a shot. They're in control. The clock is their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. They want that clock to run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. with the running back only able to pick up a yard before he stopped and now it's fourth and three quick timeout called by the defense stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense and now on fourth down they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot field goal is good and that lead grows even bigger. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Iowa State is running away with this one, thanks to an offense that's been clicking in every facet of the game. They'll kick it away after Number putting up a field goal on that last drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Coming after him. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Second and 10 after the previous play. He's looking to throw. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. From the gun, wants to pass. Another incompletion on third down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got it, and they convert. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. Going up top on first down. Getting some heat. That's caught. It's white. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. 
On second down, they'll take to the air. Here's a throw downfield late. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Wants to throw on third down. Unloads to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And the Badgers will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And he was able to get back on top of his own fumble. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock ticking. Got to get everyone set. They spike it to stop the clock. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Try. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. And that just about does it. That about puts this thing to bed. The offense, listen, they had to. They had to go for it, but... Now, defense, this is the situation when you say, I'm just going to eat clock up by several possessions. Eat clock, get out of here with a W. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. The offense lining up for a first down play. On the ground, it's Scott. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Well, how about this one? A fun one. These guys came in as underdogs, and they walk out as the winner. They didn't care they were unranked. That's not what they were worried about. Oh, this team's ranked. They weren't looking at any different. They were looking to come in and get the W and execute. Great job believing they could come, Jesse, and knock them off. Yeah, you're right, David. This team came in with something to prove, and they knew they had a national audience that was going to be paying attention to this game. What a great job going out under the lights, big-time stage against a ranked opponent, and really putting their A game out there on the field. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 3 non-conference matchup has the Appalachian State Mountaineers of the Sun Belt coming into Laramie to take on the Cowboys.